Mind if I ask why not? Unless you're joking. I mean, it's... Or if there's something you don't like about me, just tell me, please. Please, Kanade? <laughs> Kanade? Kanade? I've been meaning to ask you, Professor Kano. At the Okinawa Research Camp, there was a boy who presented to us. I believe his name was Shikijo. How's he been since then? <sighs> hey, are you listening, Kanade? It's not right. It's just not. It's not like you. <laughs> Shikijo has been an incredibly difficult student of mine. I'm not sure what should be done with him. Frankly, I'm at the end of my rope. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Sorry. Why? Why don't you want to be my girlfriend? What's wrong with you, Kennedy? This just isn't normal. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Why? What's the reason? He seemed like a serious, well-behaved student when he first enrolled in school. But it seems that he's caused a number of problems in the past. I'm so sorry. Why, Kanade? I'm so sorry. Just calm down and tell me! Lately, when I'm around him, I feel an incredible sense of impending danger. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just like I thought, the Sayu girls are all hicks. At least the kebabs were good, though. Huh? Oh, Kanade, you're awake. Are you all right? Oh, Shikijo. Hi! Why am I tied up? I'm sorry. Huh? Do you hurt anywhere? With most stun guns, not many people pass out. But I guess the higher voltage ones made overseas are more dangerous. Well, you're the one who shocked her. You should know. But what does all this mean? I'm not sure you want to know. Come on, Cheeky Joe. Be huh? nice and explain it to her. After all, you're the one who nabbed her. You want to know what's going on, huh? Just look around. You can figure it out. <laughs> You've got a real nice body. I think letting Shiki Joe keep you all to himself would be a real shame. <laughs> <laughs> wow, she's tied up and she still landed a kick. Ooh, that's cool. <sighs> Why, you little. <laughs> Don't go getting cocky, little bitch. Don't you know what you're in for? You're just begging to be assaulted, aren't you? <laughs> What do you think you're doing? Uh, I'm sorry, Kanade. This guy's name is Taku. He's a terrible person who likes assaulting other people's women. Not long ago, he had his eye on his friend's girlfriend. He kidnapped her, made her call her boyfriend, and he assaulted her with the boyfriend on the phone. Isn't that horrible? He's really the worst you can be as a human being. It's funny you're saying that <sighs> while doing something pretty horrible yourself. Oh, now that I think about it, you're right. Sorry, I guess I went too far. Hey, wait a minute. What am I apologizing for? You guys are in no position to be judging me. You're the ones who pour boiling oil over underclassmen who disrespect you, and you peel people's nails off just for fun. Each one of you is beyond horrible. Which makes someone like me totally normal, am I right? Compared to all of you, anyway. Why... Why would you do something like this to me? Is this... Acting normal? All this time, all I wanted to do was match his idea of normal. And he thinks this is normal? So you want to know why, Kanade? I'll tell you. You see, the problem is, you're not a normal girl. It's not like I wanted to do something like this, you know? Forcing women to do things isn't exactly my style. What I really long for is a normal romance. I told you that I went off the rails. Just a little, back in middle school. I kept clashing with my parents. But I, truly I did respect them. Unlike me, they were reliable, serious, and they could fit in anywhere as respectable people. So much so that no one believed that they actually beat me every day. When they threw me into an orphanage, I thought, 
Even if it meant I was putting on an act for people, I was determined to come off normal. And that's why I walked through every step with you to create a normal romance. First, starting off as friends. Getting closer little by little. Going around the festival together. Even saving you from that strange man. Finally, confessing my feelings once again to the romantic nightscape in the background. It was really the ideal flow of events. Normally, that's when the girl gives her okay. And yet, you still turn me down. This just isn't normal. And then you reacted so violently. You didn't leave me any choice. I had to restrain you, right? The fact that everything turned out this way is all your fault. Well, I mean, I still have issues I'm working out too. But still, I don't think what you did was right either, Kanade. So, after all of that, was I wrong? Did things turn out like this? Because I'm not normal? If I had been able to match his expectations like a normal person, then none of this... I hope you understand a little better now. But if you do, then I'm glad. Because I'm going to ask just one more time. Think more normally before you answer. Be my girlfriend? is going the way I want. Why won't you just accept me and we can move on? Looks like she dumped you again, Shiki Joe. Making your girlfriend cry is totally uncool. How long are you gonna keep playing the good kid here? Your only option now is to force her to do what you want. Want our help to show you how it's done? I think you're right. I've got no other choice. Even Kanade said it herself. She's not normal. We have to reform her for her own sake. <laughs> so, I'm finally being punished. This is retribution for all the people I've hurt and all the things I've lost along the way. I'm so sorry, Shikicho, Mr. Takahashi, and Yukimura, too. Huh? <laughs> Back off. Do not touch that woman. You low-life parasitiforms! <sighs> and who do you think you are? Oh, it's that same guy again. I've been looking for you now, Yoshiki Joe. Uh, how do you know my name? Professor Kano is visiting us today from Tori Yu. Uh I happened to overhear him when he was talking about you. He gave me the full details. I had a bad feeling about you, so I tried contacting Kanade, but I couldn't get in touch with her. Though we knew we might be intruding, my colleagues and I split up and commenced a search for her. 
Luckily, we previously researched mood values around campus. We'd already investigated areas near the university where a person would be out of sight from others. We considered the worst possibilities. I decided to look around, starting with the lowest beauty scores and moving upward. I guess I hit the jackpot. Because as one would expect, mites appear in dirty places. Yukimura, be careful. What? You know him? Is this the guy that you work with in the lab? When we met earlier, Kande told me she didn't know who you were. You parasites. What are you doing to her? Looks pretty obvious to me. Kanade admitted that she isn't normal, so the boys and I are going to reform her. You see, Kanade is my ultimate ideal. She's always smiling at me and kind. She's dignified. She's ladylike and diligent, too. And when I called out to her, she even treated someone like me with respect. But she's been behaving very badly lately. That's why I have to help her finally become a normal girl. To help her become her true self. Please stop! That's not the kind of person I'm ever going to be! The normal, real me isn't normal at all! I'm very volatile, not ladylike in any way! And because of that, I'm always causing trouble for others. I'm just... You're just lying! It's not possible! I know the real Kanade! There's no way she would ever reject me! Be quiet, you idiots! Seize your pointless debate immediately! So you think you know the real Kanade? I will prove to you that you're wrong, because I'm about to show you the real Kanade. Huh? This is Kanade's deoxyribonucleic acid, or DNA, the arrangement of Kanade's genome. Adenine, guanine, cytosine, thymine. From these four chemical bases, three million characters are created. A string of characters which comprises 80 gigabytes of data, which is allotted to only one single human. The blueprint of life. It contains information on everything that makes Kotonoha Kanade Kotonoha Kanade. This is the real Kanade. You were tormented about who you were. You despaired about acting normal and being yourself. So I asked a favor from someone I collaborate with in the biology department. I had him analyze saliva that we had collected earlier from you. The terms like normal and real don't exist in the collection of genome sequence cells that gives life to the individual organism called Kanade. The point about always smiling and being kind, the point about single-mindedly throwing yourself into your research, and how you might use an excessive shoulder throw in self-defense. All of it is you, Kanade. Nothing more, nothing less. And people like this guy may never accept that reality. But trust me, they are not the only people out there. I spoke to someone connected to your past, Kanade. Huh? You spoke to him? Kanade, I can say this now. Back then, you did injure me. And I've heard that you still suffer and feel guilty about it. <laughs> but it wasn't your fault. The responsibility lies with me. Huh? After having it pointed out to me by this Yukimura person, I did some calculations. Back then, I tripped and ended up in this sort of position. If I had continued falling in that manner, my right hand would have, you know. <gasps> there's a very high probability I would have touched your right breast. What did you make my former teacher say? So that should clear things up. I'm terribly sorry if that's become a painful memory for you, but if possible, I don't want you to think that way. Because for me, the days I spent privately tutoring you, each day after school, I truly, truly enjoyed every single minute of it. I'm very glad that I met you. That's the one thing I really wanted to say. So you want me to talk about Kanade? Well, my very first impression of her was the sense she was a powerful woman in possession of physical skills. By the way, I'd like to keep this a secret from Kanade, but if possible, I'd like to ask her to spar with me just once. So Kanade's the one who's not normal? Well, this whole lab is insane, so come back and ask me when she's crazier than that guy. <laughs> What do I think about her? Kanade is a very cheerful and cute girl. She's always conscientious of the people around her. And I do appreciate those qualities. But I feel she holds herself back as if there was some part of her she doesn't want to reveal. Personally, it would make me happy. 
is she leaned on me a little more as a close friend. There's so much to her. I want to know all about Kanade. As you can see here, in the expression of points Kanade considers to be not normal, affirmative opinions such as happy and doesn't matter constituted the majority. <gasps> Kanade's high level of popularity <gasps> and her character as a person. Have you been collecting data on me all this time? Simply for my sake? In short, as one can understand from this data, the concept of normal is a falsehood. <laughs> Look, guy, you came in just as we were starting the fun. Then you go and put up some confusing slides and videos that nobody can follow. If this weak science type is so smart, then why did he stupidly come here alone? Come on, Shiki Joe. Enough with this guy. Let's just beat him to a pulp already. Yeah, right. Let's teach him a lesson. You have to learn how to read the room. What did you come here for? This has nothing to do with you. Coming here goes against normal common sense. Yukimura, watch out! Stop it! You're hurting him! Yukimura, protect yourself! Those things known as normal and common sense are simply relative concepts. In the same way that what these guys call normal can appear atypical, the contents of a set of normality, depending on each individual, <laughs> will differ. You understand that now, don't you, Kanade? I'm sick of hearing you talk! You're just a four-eyes who studies too hard! Are you trying to be a hero of justice or something? What do you think you could do on your own, you moron? Stop! Please stop! Why? Why would he go so far? Yeah, right. You want us to believe you have a gun? Huh? Hey! What are you trying to do? I bet you have no idea what this is. You probably should have paid attention when you learned about it in middle school science class. Is that... it can't be... I borrowed them from the science department. Strong acids that can dissolve an entire human body. If any of it happened to touch your skin, you have to rinse off under running water as quickly as possible. Oh, whoa, 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 wait! That sounds super dangerous! How are you able to get that stuff? What, are you stupid or something? Just on the campus grounds of this university alone, do you know just how many toxic substances and dangerous objects there are? Remember this. When you bear your fangs at a science type, you make enemies with the entire natural world! Ah! Ah, it got on my clothes! This isn't funny, you know! You can't expect me to go up against someone this insane! Uh, I'm out too, Shikito! Uh, wait! Hurry up, we outside! No, no, wait! Outside. <laughs> 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 No! What kind of monster are you? There's something wrong with your head! You're not normal! Why in the world are you getting in my way? I mean, all I've ever wanted is a normal romance! Now you're Shikicho. You're exactly the same as the report you presented when we all went to the Okinawa research camp. But all you did was make the outward appearance seem fine, while your content was rotten. Shut up! You're the one who isn't normal! Kanade and I, our boyfriend and girlfriend! Stay away from us! It's none of your business! Why are you butting in? Why, you ask? You really want to know? It's because you have mastered the science type! <laughs> Don't worry. It's just a little water. Huh? I would never use a dangerous substance like acid, you moron. Tch. Although this charade did allow me to buy enough time for the police to arrive. Let's head back, Kanade. Tell me, why did you come here to help me? After I... I said all those terrible things. You call that terrible? The things I normally say to strangers are much worse than what you said to me. Uh, uh. The way you live your life is up to you, Kanade. But if your obsession with normality causes you to agonize, then at least with us, please be yourself. After all, we are the Akeda Lab. 
Even if you become a little less normal, you won't stand out amongst any of us. <laughs> oh wait, let me untie you. I learned a little bit about the theory of untying knots through topology. So not being normal is fine? I assure you that it won't bother me in the very least. But I might throw you over my shoulder one day, Yukimura. Is it still okay? You've done that to me several times already. Train yourself to not inadvertently throw others. I can become your test subject. But wait! In my head, I'm always making really mean retorts at you, Yukimura, but I never say them out loud because they're just awful! <laughs> well, the next time, say them out loud. I'll refute them on the spot. <laughs> of urgency was too great. I had to come. Well, I did resolve the issue, huh? didn't I? Gathering all that data just for me. Getting all made up with a body like a beast bro? Why are you always so kind to me? Do that kind of stuff for Himuro. So because I have Himuro, I can't do anything for you? And you talked about the theory of untying knots, but you haven't untied me at all. How clumsy can you be? It's a theory. Theory and practice are different, and you're starting to hurt me, Kennedy. Oh, I'm so sorry! Now, what is it you're doing? Nothing. Oh, by the way. There's something I want to tell you, Yukimura. Have a sec? Is it the result of the festival experiment? In that case... Someone's in love, and it's with you. Didn't you already tell... Not me, Kanade. <laughs> what? Really? I'm really sorry. I wasn't planning on ever saying anything about it to you or anyone else. You don't have to apologize, Kanade. We already talked about it. Once you've fallen in love, it's out of your control. I'm sorry, Himuro. Just remember, it's like Yukimura told you before. Whenever you're around us, you should lead your life however you like. Uh, I did say that. It seems like another interesting adventure has begun in the Ikeda lab. What is wrong with me? Huh? The game knows I love Aika, so what's wrong? Why can't I choose the true end? What does this mean? Is my subconscious recoiling from becoming one with Aika? What's going on, Tosuke? Did you find a favorite you love more than Aika or something? <laughs> Shut up, Ibarata! This has got nothing to do with you! What's wrong with you now? We've determined that you're in love, but the quality and type are undetermined, which means that you and I are in the same situation. We were using favorable feeling as the subject in our research. Now we'll be able to collect the perfect data, don't you think? Huh? To that end, huh? you and I, Kanade, We'll have to see which one of us loves Yukimura more. And Yukimura, between Kanade and myself, you'll have to see who you love more. Well, what do you say we begin our next experiment? Honestly, what is this love crazy couple even talking about? Are we all going to be okay?